Hi, welcome to Ricarte's Crossing. Okay, so what we're looking at now is the Crystal Power Tarot that arrived. Okay, so we're looking at what t other tarot and oracle decks that I could use in a reading, or that we could use in a reading. I mean, there's lots of others that you could use. There's lots of crystal um, related or chakra related decks that I think would work really, really well with the crystal tarot, um, the crystal power tarot. But let's just try use um, what I've got here myself. Okay, so let's just sort of move this out of the way. So chakra power. And I'm going to start with um, the Crystal Alley cards to start with. And let's just give it a bit of a shuffle. Let's just choose one. Okay, eight of cups. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of a cough there. Okay, so Eight of Cups. And it might have helped if I actually grabbed my glasses. Might not. Okay, just one minute. Okay, so as I continue, so Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is Aquamarine. And it says, I accept my situation without resistance. For me, Eight of Cups is about walking away. So maybe walking away from something. So let's have a look and see what the Crystal Alley cards. Let's see what card I get here. Aquamarine with release. That's interesting to get that walking away and you get that sense of release. Being able to surrender to the situation, to let go, to to leave behind um, what's been going on for you. So that's an interesting combination there. And I think the cards work really, really well together. So let's have a look. If I add another card here. We've got Seven of Wands, which is Garnet. I actively hold true to my values. So it's about standing up for oneself. And the card that flew out is Hypholite with Wisdom. So using the wisdom or the knowledge that you actually have for the situation, you really are standing up for what you believe, what you know to be true. So I think they make a really good combination. Okay, so let's have a look. What else am I using? with the Crystal Power Tarot. Use the Crystal Grid Oracle. So here we've got So here we've got King of Wands, which is the yellow calcite. I am successful in all I do. That's about being successful in your achievements. Here you have Five of Wands. Again, you've got, um, I stand my ground with peace. Again, you've got a sense of battles, um, conflicts and things going on. So here you successful in all you do because you're standing up, um, you're overcoming the battles and the achievement and you're with the moon, which again is moonstone, rainbow moonstone. Okay, you have got my intuition guides me to the right decision. So you're trusting in your own intuition, you're allowing the tides or your moods to influence you in many ways. That's an interesting combination. As you look at um, being successful by standing up for your um you know, overcoming those battles, those conflicts, and knowing and trusting in your own intuition. So here we have clarity. Again, you've got that sense of release. 
and solutions. So there's a sense of clarity, a sense of solutions coming into play when you're able to let go, release what no longer serves you. So I think that's a really cool combination as well, just to show you. This is a crystal grid. I mean, there's lots of crystal decks you can use. These are just a few that I have that you can sort of see what's available. So let's have a look at... Um, just some really quick quick looks so here we have the king of swords um, amatroon i trust my ability to make a strategic decision so this is about trusting in yourself um, to make the decision that's best for the situation that's going on or best for you at this time so let's have a look at the crystal oracle cards here So here you've got stitch tight and sermatite. This is about detoxifying your thoughts, meditation, clearing your energy centers. So this is about, I feel like this is about clearing away all the debris that you're holding on to so that you're able to trust um, your own abilities to make the decisions that are important. It's like you're cleaning away the old and so that you get some clarity in what's actually going on for you. It's interesting. And he got petrified wood, which is tears of time. Um, a strength is about standing, standing tears of time, standing and having strength, transformation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of transformation going on. There's a sense of commitment happening within the situation when you're able to make those clear decisions it does give you the ability to have the um, strength that you need. To move ahead. So that's an interesting combination as well. Okay, so we worked through the crystal oracle, right? Now, the other one that I think is sort of a chakra based um, tarot uh, oracle deck would be the um, Sue Nicholson's the Butterfly Guiding Light. Okay, you could use any sort of chakra, um, chakra um, oracle. So let's have a look and see, you know, you're thinking about, I mean, you could do a full seven card spread, three card walk, you could do whatever you wanted, but I'm not, I don't have time for that. I just want to do a really quick um, exploration at this time, just to show you the combination with the cards. So here we've got the five of swords. Um, I will heal myself. This to me is a sense of overcoming a sense of being feeling defeated or maybe, um, you know, there's that sense of defeating others, but I feel like it's, you know, are you defeating, are you feeling a little defeated in the situation? So you're able to bring some healing that you need at this time. And here we have wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge and time. So with the healing, with the overcoming of the, the feeling, um, gives you wisdom, gives you the experience of wisdom, which is super important, which brings a sense of change to what's going on. So when you're feeling like you're being defeated with the situation, maybe you've got some challenges um, that you mentally need to um, think about to create the healing that's so important, you have wisdom gained and to bring the changes that's really important. So that's an interesting combination with the Butterfly Guiding Light Oracle by Sue Nicholson. So now, the thing is to actually use a, another chart, another um, tarot deck. Um, I would use the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. So you could do... Of course you could use some more cards of course and I'm just showing you one at this time just to show you so the first one we've got is ten of cups ten of cups I have all I wish for my relationship to me this is a sense of completeness and union within a relationships and things that are going on so we're looking at um, the chakras 
let's have a look. Now you can use these cards in many ways. Here we have three of wands. We've got sense of pause, looking towards the goals. It's definitely about your solar plexus, so it's about trusting your um, your gut instinct, how do you digest your experiences. So as you feel like everything's sort of coming together, it's sort of asking you how you digest your experiences um, as you pull, take a moment to look towards your goals and where you're going. So I think this would make a really good combination um, reading using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot by um, Tony Hartman. And here we've got the High Priestess. So again, we've got the Solar Plexus. Again, we're looking at how we digest our experiences, but this is to do with the secrets, the ancient knowledge, um, the sorcery, the magic, maybe the moon energy that might be coming through the situation. Um, maybe we need to find a sense of balance, um, some stability, within um, a sense of sacredness as we move ahead on this journey. So that's a really interesting combination there with the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. So that's just to show you a little bit about um, the cards that are um, that you could use with the Crystal Power Tarot. So don't forget to check the links below, check the links on my channel, like, subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Thank you for being with Ecartes.